Hey, Grace Baptist Church family. <clears throat> I'm here in the uh, worship center at Grace, and uh, we just finished up the recording for the morning worship service. So if you haven't seen that yet, I would encourage you to go to YouTube. Uh, when you're looking for it, if you will go to Grace uh, Media Cartersville, or if you type it in Grace Cartersville Media, uh, you'll find it there. And you can go on and watch not only today's message, but the ones who have come uh, previously before that. <clears throat> I'm sending you this video. You should, uh, uh, hopefully, by the time you see this on the Grace Facebook page and on YouTube, you should have received a one call from the office from me. Uh, but uh, I just want you to know, number one, I'm grateful that God sent Cheryl and I to Grace and uh, has allowed us to serve here since last August. Uh, God's been good. Uh, the ch you know the church has walked through some some difficult things, and yet God's brought us such a long way, and for that we're grateful. Um, but I want you to know we love you. But God has uh, brought our ministry here to a conclusion, and uh, He's going to be taking us on uh, to another place to serve. Uh, so the Lord willing, next Sunday uh, I will be uh, beginning a. Uh, ministry as a transitional pastor at First Baptist Church, Ella J. Uh, and God has seemingly opened that door. Uh, God's given us freedom to uh, hand this off here to the leaders here who are doing such a great job. And so thank you for allowing us to serve. I apologize and I hate so much that it's during this uh, time of sheltering in place when we haven't been able to be together uh, in order to share this with you. And so uh, we're trying to do this as many ways as we possibly can to get the word out so people can understand and know what's going on. Uh, what is the path forward for grace? Well, let me just share with you a couple of things that I was sharing uh, probably the last Sunday we met together. And then, of course, that next week, the shelter in place began to be uh, an issue and churches were no longer able uh, to meet as a body of believers uh, so I had shared with you as a church family that uh, the focus team had begun working on a plan for grace moving forward. Uh, I had shared with you that there was probably going to be some very uh, difficult, radical things that needed to be done in order to see God uh, flourish a work uh, here at Grace. Uh, we had finished that up just prior to the shelter in place. Uh, we had agreed that I would uh, appoint a... Uh, leadership team off of that focus team, uh, which we've done. And I want you to know they've been working in the last few weeks just to try to put the plan together so that when we do come back uh, together to meet, uh, they can present that to you and you as a church can vote uh, whether or not to take that path forward. The people on that leadership team are Lee Daniel, and he's chairing that, uh, Tommy Culpepper, Jason uh, Russell, Jake Fowler, uh, Autumn Barrett, and Kelly Champion. And so they are working to bring that plan to you. So please know that uh, the plan moving forward will not move forward until the church is able to come back together and the church is able to make that decision as a body of believers together. Uh, however, they are working to have that ready when you come back together. Now you may say, well, when when are we going to come back together? When's going to be our first Sunday back? Well, uh, I'm not sure yet. I do know this. Uh, I'm going to be working today and in the few days ahead with uh, Jason and Jake to develop a plan, a date, and a plan coming back. Uh, it'll be done in phases, beginning with our morning worship service. Uh, there'll be some very specific, definite guidelines that uh, we'll have to follow as we come back together. Uh, so we're going to be looking at those dates, and we will let you know that as soon as we possibly can. Uh, we'll do that through uh, email, through uh, the phone tree, as well as through uh, video on Facebook, and uh, we can also post that on YouTube so that you can have access to that. Uh, so you be praying for that leadership team. They're doing a great job. And so let me just say kind of as my last thing I need to say to you very pointedly, uh, and very candidly on my way out is this. Church, uh, I want you to prayerfully, and when I say prayerfully, I mean that with everything in me, I want you to prayerfully consider what this leadership team shares with you. 
uh, because I believe the plan they have that they're putting together is going to be a great path forward so that if Jesus tarries his coming when all of us are gone and we're not here anymore, there's still a work going on on this piece of property in this building that God put here 20 years ago. And so I just want to encourage you to do that. I want you to be praying for them uh, that uh, when uh, that plan is presented, it'll be very clear that people can understand and then we can move forward from that point on. Uh, let me just say to you, Cheryl and I love you. We're grateful for this church. Thank you for the opportunity to serve here. Uh, you have got some great men of God in this place. Uh, Jason Russell has been my contact from day one as we begin to talk. Uh, God has blessed you for him to be the chairman of your deacons. He's a godly man. Uh, Jake Fowler has served well. Uh, Brother Mark and Sister Robin, they've served well. And so we're grateful for the leadership here. And so my prayer is that the path forward will be, uh, it's not going to be smooth, but uh, that God will clear that path so that a work can be done. Remember this, time is your friend. And uh, be patient. Don't get too big of a hurry. Don't try to get ahead of God. Let him do it in his time. His timing is perfect. And so let him do it in his timing. But you follow your leadership. They're, they're good and godly people. And God's put that leadership team here uh, for such a time as this. And so that's my prayer for you. Uh, Grace Baptist Church, I hope to be able to see you in the future. Uh, you pray for us. We're praying for you. And may God be glorified in everything we do. God bless you.